Greetings, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. I'm just here to report on the death of a very notable musician from Great Britain, founding member, guitarist, and vocalist of the Groundhogs. Tony McPhee leaves us today, June 6th, 2023, at age 79. Born Anthony Charles McPhee in... Humbertson, Lincolnshire, England, on March 23rd, 1944. He leaves us, uh, like I said, today, June 6th, 2023, at the age of 79. A tremendous, tremendous guitar player. If you've never listened to the Groundhogs, uh, man, a really, really good band. They actually got their start back in the uh, early 60s, like around 1963, 64. And they actually came to prominence... Uh, as a backing band for various different blues luminaries, Jimmy Reed and Howlin' Wolf and, and quite a few others in the 60s when they needed a band, right? The Groundhogs fit the bill. They could play all the old blues standards and whatnot, and eventually the band just started doing their own material. They've got a ton of albums to their credit and uh, quite a few really good ones. If you like the kind of late 60s, early, mid-70s kind of British blues heavy blues rock, that sort of thing. They were mostly known as being a power trio and some really, really great albums of kind of like this psychedelic blues, hard and heavy rock. Uh, at times, some of the stuff really, really heavy, approaching kind of like that proto-metal thing, but still with always like a really good blues feel. I definitely uh, think that uh, most of their classic albums are a bit heavier than like Chicken Shack or Fleetwood Mac or 10 Years After or, or you know, those bands. Definitely a little bit heavier. Uh, his guitar work, Tony's just searing, searing playing. Uh, really, really good player. Some of the classic albums from the Groundhog's catalog, uh, Who Will Save the World? is uh, one of their good ones. And again, so uh, basically you got uh, Tony McPhee on guitars, vocals, Mellotron, Harmonium, uh, Peter Cruikshank on bass, and Ken Pustelnik on drums. That, I believe, was the uh, kind of the classic trio lineup of the band. You got uh, Hogwash, another good one. That's Tony right there, by the way. Perhaps my favorite studio album from the band, and if you want like the best representation from a studio album of his incredible guitar skills, uh, this is probably the one. It's called Split. Here you got some kind of long tracks, lots of jamming on here. Tremendous, tremendous guitar playing here. Uh, this guy was a really, really good lead guitar player. Just check out the songs like uh, Split Part 1, 2, 3, and 4, right? It's kind of like an extended piece. Cherry Red is another great song. Junk Man, Groundhog, all really, really good tracks. Uh, Thank Christ for the Bomb is another good one. These are all like early 70s albums. Another really strong album here. Strange Town is a really good track. Soldier, Darkness, No Friend. Good stuff there. Uh, I highly recommend perhaps one of my favorite Groundhog albums is actually not a studio album, but it's this great Live at Leeds collection live album from Leeds University uh, recorded April 13, 1971. This is face melting stuff. I mean, this is raw, savage, heavy blues rock. Got great stuff on here. You got Cherry Reds on here, Gardens on here, Split Part 1, Groundhog Blues, and Eccentric Man. Uh, and again, it's the same three, the same trio, the classic power trio. This is really, really good. But they got other good stuff that, uh, you know, shows off his guitar skills. He mainly played uh, Fender Stratocaster, but I've seen pictures of him playing a Les Paul from time to time. But uh, Solid is also quite solid. There are the guys there again. Uh, here is the um, Scratching the Surface album. Here is a four-piece. Right, They did later... Um, become a four-piece. So here you've got uh, Tony, uh, Stephen Rye on, uh, on vocals and harmonica, Pete Crickshank on bass, and Ken Pastelnik on drums. So this was early on. Later on, they would add another guitar player. Uh, we got uh, Razor's Edge, another trio album, Crosscut Saw and Black Diamond. There's a little two-on-one from BGO Records. And then uh, very another very cool album. This You know, you look at this, this looks like a metal album, Blues Obituary. Okay, and this is from 1969. It's another one of the old ones. Very cool album cover. This is also good. Again, just really good, beefy, uh, guitar-oriented blues rock. Right. And again, as they went on, got even heavier, became like heavy blues rock. So, uh, really good player. Uh, I've 
you know, I'm, I was kind of late to the game of the Groundhogs. I don't think I started listening to the Groundhogs until about like maybe 10, 15 years ago. And uh, Tony still had the band going up until about like 215, uh, 215, 2015 or so, uh, and, and has been in more recent years pretty quiet on the music scene. But he's he's been having some issues. He uh, he's been recovering from a fall. He, he fell like uh, a year ago, maybe not quite a year ago. He's been recovering from that. Then he had a couple strokes, so he's not been well. So uh, I guess it's not really surprising that uh, he passed given all that he's been through over the last year. So, uh, yeah, Tony McPhee, guitarist, vocalist, founding member of the Groundhogs, leaves us at age 79. Great, great guitar player. Like I said, if uh, you watch his channel and you like a lot of the stuff we talk about, especially like the you know the old school, heavy, bluesy rock stuff, uh, I think you owe it to yourself to listen to the Groundhogs if you haven't already. Really, really terrific band. And uh, check out the great guitar skills of Mr. Tony McPhee. So, uh, Tony, rest in peace. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go out and listen to some Groundhogs. Celebrate the life and music of Tony McPhee. And uh, we'll see you real soon here on Sea of Tranquility. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.